Hi! So it's been a little while since I did a video and I wanted to talk to you really quick about the lymph system. And it, there's a lot of information so I wanted to do a video so we could keep it short and sweet and get to the information that you need to know. And then this week um, on, on the Facebook page I'll concentrate more on giving you a little bit more information about the things that we can, that we'll talk about right now. Um, a lot of people know that we have lymph nodes in our neck, but we also have them in our groin, behind our elbows, and behind our knees, and under our armpits. The lymph system plays a really important part in what's going on with our body, but it doesn't move independently. It doesn't move like your, like your circulatory system, so we have to learn how to move it um, manually, and I want you to understand why. The lymph system actually carries toxins through your organs. It flushes your organs and it helps to keep them clean. And it also helps to build bone marrow. It removes fatty acid through your digestive system, but it's not gonna do all of those things if all you're doing is sitting around. You have to move your lymph. Now your lymph, your lymph system consists of your, your tonsils, your spleen, and your thymus. Um, as some, if you've had your tonsils removed, then you don't, you, you know, you're kind of one down. Your body is, is in need of a little bit of help to get this done. So um, the ways that you can move your lymph, uh, exercise is a really good one. Rebounding, plyo, which um, includes a lot of jumping, and specific yoga moves that are for moving lymph. You can get a lymph massage. You can do self-massage. Um, dry brushing is, is really good. Hitting those areas and, and moving your lymph and causing your circulatory system to, to move. Um, all of those things are very helpful. There are deep breathing exercises that help with moving lymph. Um, there's raw foods, actually. Uh, of course, there's always foods that are going to hit a specific need. So we'll go into more of those throughout the week. If you have a sluggish lymph system, some of the things you're going to be feeling are um, you're going to have frequent illnesses. You're going to be tired and sluggish a lot. You're going to have aches and pains for no good reason. And aging is not a good reason. You're going to have digestive problems. Um, You'll have poor circulation. Uh, you're going to have hormonal imbalances. And actually, you're going to have toxic kidney and liver buildup. If you're frequently getting kidney infections, if you've got um, pain or complications with, with your liver, all of these things are related to your lymph. So this week, we're going to concentrate a little bit on, on making it healthy and getting it moving. So stick with me. If you have any specific questions, please let me know. I'll be happy to address them. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.